welcome everybody to the crypts so uh anyway guys today we're going to be talking about something very interesting we'll be talking about digital distribution on pc that's right i'll be talking about selling and publishing your indie games on a website for the whole world to see so let's get started the first one I want to talk about is itch.io. Itch.io uh, is the most indie websites about uh, of all of them. The reason why I say that is because, well, uh, in terms of you publishing your own games, it doesn't exactly have that many rules. I'm like, you just start an account, you start a page, and you can go ahead and publish. Uh, you can publish uh, prototypes, um games that you know you're just trying out uh even premium games because well you can't sell your games and the pricing is very flexible when you're choosing uh what price do you want your game to be if you want it to be a price at all or you want it to be a donate model this website has all sorts of games from all developers and from all types you can even host game jams or join Game Gems, or download games from Game Gems. So yeah, this is itch.io. When it comes to publishing, it doesn't exactly have that many rules. And you know, there are even games here that are not exactly games. So yeah, it's not like uh, most websites where they have like all these strict rules. With itch.io, you just start your page, start publishing, and you know, let the whole world see your game which is what makes uh, itch.io the most indiest one of them all. The next one is GOG, Good Old Games. Well, uh, this website here is a home for DRM-free uh, games. I wouldn't exactly say that it's that flexible in terms of publishing because, well, uh, the games in this website are pretty, pretty serious. Yep, uh, this is a GOG. It has indie games and triple A games. A lot of pricey uh, triple A games. But yeah, this uh, website is, well, another website where you can uh, feel, feel free to publish uh, your games on this website. And well, if you want to try it, uh, it's fine. But it's not exactly as flexible or as indie as itch.io as it's kind of made by the people behind the witcher and a new game uh cyberpunk 2077 that's about to come out which is cd project i don't know if they're the ones who made this website or they're just working with them but yeah exactly as i said that's what makes this not exactly the most indie website of them all but if you want to publish your game here uh feel free make your game premium or uh free but i have to warn you it's not exactly that easy but this but once you can get your game on GOG, you are set. And the next one I want to talk about is a uh, new grounds. This and itch.io are the most indiest website of them all. Oh, and, and also game charts. Yeah, I'm sorry, I, I couldn't fit uh, that website into the video, but I'm telling you now, itch.io, new grounds, and game charts. Those are the three most indiest websites you can gets yep that's right if one doesn't work for you you can always go to the next one or you can publish your game on all the websites because well it's gonna work out because uh, these uh games do show up on the new bar tab and well i promise you that if you can publish your if you can publish it in these websites it did the ah uh, just came internet connection on and as i was saying before uh these websites are the ones that have the most limited rules. I know I should be talking about new grounds, but I speak for HEO and Game Jolts when I say that these are the most indie's websites of them all. But then uh HEO is actually the most known one, but you can get your game also on Game Jolts and New Grounds. So basically I'm speaking for Game Jolts and New Grounds because well they're kind of like brother and sister. They're both very, very indie and it's not just games you can publish, even movies and music and arts, no matter what. As I said, limited rules, people. Limited 
rules in terms of publishing you can get anything even games that are not games but it has to suit the formats but that doesn't exactly matter that much the next one i want to talk about is like is a like gog in terms of you know not exactly being the most indie websites of them all this is humble humble monthly well humble bundle to be specific so uh, Humble is another website uh, that is owned by IGN. Yep, IGN, the guys themselves. Well, it's acquired by IGN. This, again, is not exactly the most indiest websites of them all. It's also going to be a bit of a struggle to try and get your game through, which is why you got to make your game as premium as you can. If you want to get your game on this or a GOG, as you can see, it's got triple A games here. It's got Mortal Kombat 11, which is still Call of Duty up there. Uh, Start to Valley, which is kind of an indie game. But, well, who doesn't like Star Start to Valley? It's, it's one of the biggest. But, yeah, it's not exactly easy getting a game on Humble, which is why you gotta work hard. But, I promise, if you can get your game on Humble, again, as I said before, you are set. Though you gotta go through a lot of rules, but you can't exactly blame it because, well, it's owned by IGN. I mean, like, like, come on. This is the website that actually started the whole bundles thing where you buy a game in a bundle, includes indie games and um, AAA games, lock them up in a bundle for you to buy. You know, where you can buy a, a bundle monthly and it comes with a bunch of games inside the bundle and you don't know what the games exactly are this is the website that started all of that so like can you just like imagine buying a bundle and then you get some triple a games and you get some indie games those indie games could be your indie games right now so yeah i also recommend to go to humble bundle and you know just try your luck because well this is one of those websites that you guarantee that um, you get some people who will look through it. Because as I said, this has a lot of triple. It's even got Rage too. I, I mean, like, that. that is just not indie at all. But still, I recommend you try it. The next one that I'm about to announce is the biggest and baddest one out of them all. The father of them all. The number one. Steam, which is also not exactly easy, because our Steam is like the number one, the number one out of the number one websites on getting your games and all that. It's not easy, believe me. When I say getting your game on Steam isn't easy, it isn't easy. It's like GOG and Humble and some other uh, websites, those triple A websites they do have uh indie games but not exactly that many it's like mostly triple a games because steam is the biggest and baddest owned by a uh, valve the guys behind council strike and portal and all those other games this game steam is the biggest and baddest one out of them all it's it's one of those websites that are not easy to go through especially because you gotta go through the green lights which is like where they give a survey is if your game is good enough, it can make it through. So if you want to get this game on Steam or on Humble or on GOG, I recommend you start putting in the hours. Get those bug fixes and all that because once you get your game on Steam and it's bad, it's bad. I mean, like, these guys have no mercy. So, yeah, anyway, guys. So, anyway, guys, that was uh my top pick for uh the websites where you can digitally distribute those uh websites uh well yeah as i said not all of them are indie not all those websites are exactly guaranteed uh, to work out for you but i recommend you try them so anyway guys thanks for watching the video uh please subscribe uh check out up uh, below for the links, you know, for some cool stuff, my Twitter accounts and all that stuff and more game dev contents coming up. Anyway, guys, have a great day.